Hey YouTube, how's it going? Ed here with another video, and this is my review of Le Pamplemousse by Miller Harris. Um, I have pretty much finished the 1.6 ml sample that I was working off of, I was able to give it um, a full wear, and now I'm able to do um, a proper review on it. Um, the fragrance opens up feeling very green, uh, leafy, and feels very lush. I get the feeling of um, an English hedgerow on a hot summer's day. Um, I kind of feel like this sort of lush green, slightly herby uh, opening must be the sage with the rosemary and I get a tiny hint of the green melon as well. Um, then we get the early onset of the grapefruit which really serves to, to tease and entice. Um, on a cooler day it seems like the greener aspects come through more prominently but on a hot day um, the early citrus aspects of the fragrance tend to be uh, a bit more prominent. Um, then about 10 minutes in, 15 minutes, we get to uh, to the mid and the bitter grapefruit really starts to shine. It's such an incredibly well done, natural smelling note. Um, we've also got the rhubarb in there which gives the grapefruit a really interesting edge. Um, I also get the, the Moroccan orange flower as well, um, all wonderfully blended together and the, the orange flower gives just a touch of sweetness and a slight floral feeling as well. And the green melon, um, slightly stronger here than in the top gives a, a kind of balance to the mid and to my nose it's the least prominent of all the notes in the mid of the fragrance but it also stops things from becoming overly citrusy and harsh and keeping a slight green uh, leafy aspect to the mid and um, the interplay of these notes is absolutely beautiful uh, and gives the mid real character intrigue sophistication life and warmth um, this is by far the best part of the fragrance and it really does bloom in the heat and this is the part of the fragrance that, that is the nicest it is natural and it is rich and um, it, it's beautifully done. From here the mid gradually dies down to the base just like the cooling of the day. Uh, we get a, a woody slightly earthy vibe from the vetiver, tree moss and Moroccan cedar. The cedar being the most prominent of all while all the time you continue to pick up the faintest hints of um, that wonderful bitter grapefruit. I would say that this fragrance is ultimately uh, a fusion of English sensibility with the romanticism of a beautiful Moroccan aromatic summer's garden filled with beautiful grapefruit trees. This is a summer only scent. Although it is labelled as being an eau de parfum, this does not feel like an eau de parfum strength fragrance at all. Um, I wish it was stronger, deeper, richer, longer lasting. Um, don't get me wrong, this is a wonderful, wonderful fragrance, but it kind of leaves you wanting more, you know, and um, it wears reasonably close to the body, so you're not going to get a whole lot of projection. Uh, the sillage on it isn't that great, but, um, but the, the actual smell, the overall smell and the vibe and the feeling that you get from this fragrance is really, really nice. Um, I just wish that it had a bit more oomph to it and that it was a bit longer lasting, because um, it does deliver a nice experience, but ultimately it leaves you wanting that little bit more. Um, this is definitely a unisex fragrance, it's very refined and it would make a great uh, daytime summer fragrance for those of you out there who love your grapefruit. Um, so ratings for this. Projection, I will give it a C-, Sillage a C, Longevity C-, and the overall smell a B. Um, so that was my review of La Pamplemousse by Miller Harris. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and cheers for watching and take care.